Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald, more than the score. I'm your host Steve Ortman, alongside me this week, Chief Sports Editor Jim Leitner. Jim, how are you doing? Very, very good. And, <clears throat> excuse me, Jim, I just want to say, you, my friend, smell like smoke, because you have been through fire to finish off the all-area baseball squads, and it's always a, a fun process, but when it came to a player of the year this year, you had a pretty clear winner. Certainly, uh, Calvin Harris, a sophomore catcher and pitcher from Western Dubuque, uh, was our player of the year. The first mm -hmm. time we've ever had a sophomore uh, be named player of the year, uh, but he certainly deserved it this year. He was named to the All-State Super Team, the Coaches Association Super Team, for the second consecutive season. Uh, he led Western Dubuque to the Iowa Class 4A state semifinals, uh, put up really video game type numbers this season, mm -hmm. and it was really a clear choice, basic, be, basically because he impacted the game in so many different ways, pitching, catching, hitting, uh, a lot of the intangibles as well. Uh, he was a very clear choice to win the award this year. Yeah, and uh, when you're talking now Coach of the Year, you're looking at a guy that also had a a big hand in why the Bobcats went on that big run. Casey Bryant is our coach of the year. He's also from Western Dubuque. Uh, he's, a, he's a coach. This year, the Western Dubuque was kind of a little bit in a bit of a rebuilding mode. Mm -hmm. uh, they had one of the most athletic classes in school history last year. And, you know, a lot of people thought that this was going to be a rebuilding year. And they only had one senior in the starting lineup. Uh, the rest were basically juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. And I think a lot of people thought this was going to be a year where they just kind of built up for next season and make a run at the Mississippi Valley Conference next year. Uh, but this year in their last season in the WAMAC, they won the conference championship for the second straight year. As we mentioned earlier, uh, they made a nice run to the state tournament in Principal Park in Des Moines, making it to the state semifinals. So uh, a great year by Casey Bryant and his staff, uh, Paul Goodman and uh, Casey have been coaching together for 19 seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the fourth time they've gone to the state tournament and the first time since 2012. So it was a, an outstanding season for the Bobcats and, and one that they're going to remember for a long time. Absolutely. Now, uh, Jim, I know you digging through all those numbers, putting the teams together. Calvin was obviously a standout player, but there were a bevy of great, great players in the area this year. Yeah, there certainly was. And uh, it was really actually kind of a difficult process this year. We had probably, the, the first team had 16 players on it. I think there, I counted there was probably 22 or 23 players who could have very mm -hmm. easily made our first team. Uh, but I think Cascade kind of led the way. Uh, they were a team that was ranked number one uh, in Class 2A for most of the season. Kind of went out a little bit earlier than they would have mm -hmm. liked. But they had three players named, actually four players named in Harris Hoffman, Gannon O'Brien, Logan Otting, and Brock Simon uh, mm -hmm. made the first team. Uh, Dyersville Beckman had three players, Jackson Bennett, C.J. McDermott, and Joel Vasky. Western Dubuque also had Sam Goodman and Kyle Le Lehman, along with uh, Calvin Harris being our player of the year. Hempstead had Will Courtney and Connor Craybill. A senior had Andrew Henry and Sam Link. And Wallard had Spencer Gert and Jimmy McDermott. Uh, and we also had a player from Fenimore, uh, Trevor Neuroth, who was uh, our, also on our first team. All right. A uh, lot of great talent you listed there. And uh, a lot of these players went out and proved it once again for the Dubuque County Legion team, going to the Legion World Series. Actually, it was a great run for Dubuque County. They went 5-1 uh, and one at the Central Plains Regional in Dickinson, North Dakota this, this last weekend. Uh, Dubuque County has been to the, the regional tournament mm -hmm. several times, uh, but they've never won it before. They've never gone to the American Legion World Series, and, and that's the uh, that surprise that they got for winning this weekend. Uh, so they're actually en route to North Carolina, Shelby, North Carolina, where they're playing in the, the World Series. Uh, it's kind of a little bit different format when you get to the World Series. You're placed in the, a pool with three other teams, and you play them head-to-head. -head. Uh, and then the top two teams of each pool advance to the semifinals and then obviously the championships game. So there's eight teams in the World Series right now. Uh, that's out of more than 3,400 who started the season at the, at the Legion level. So mm -hmm. it speaks a lot to what uh, Dubuque County was able to accomplish. But, you know, when they went up to North Dakota, they hit 356 as a team. 
which is really remarkable mm -hmm. for, for any, any team. Uh, and they had a 1.41 earned run average as a team in the six games that they played. And that's, that's probably the more impressive of the two stats because when you get up there and you're playing, you're playing six games in five days. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes a, a big yeah. toll on your pitching staff. So uh, it speaks to the depth that they have in their pitching staff that they were able to have that kind of a, an ERA. And you know, offensively, they had Sam Link and Kyle Lehman both hit 555 with 10 hits out of 18 at bats up at the tournament. Mm -hmm. And Jackson Bennett hit 500 and Gannon O'Brien hit 444. Uh, we mentioned Sam Goodman earlier. He was named the MVP of the tournament. Uh, he picked up three wins in the tournament, including two on Sunday, uh, which is a remarkable feat. They were playing in 100 degree temperatures. Uh, fortunately, it was a situation where Dubuque County had to win two games against West Fargo uh, to win the whole thing because it's a double elimination deal. Uh, they won the first game 11 to nothing in five innings and Sam Goodman was able to limit his, his pitch count, so he was able to come back on in relief in the second mm -hmm. game, and it's he big. ended up getting the win in the mm -hmm. second game. So he ended up with three wins in the tournament, which is remarkable, and uh, he was a very worthy choice of being named MVP. Yeah, and Jim, you've done a great job covering baseball all summer. You'll be keeping an eye on that here this weekend, and it's hard to believe with a little baseball to cover yet, We've got Wisconsin high school football starting on Friday night. Some great matchups. We'll be having those covered for you here in the Saturday edition of the Telegraph Herald. We're looking at Platteville playing Cuba City. We've got Lancaster playing Fenimore. It's kind of that, almost that preseason warm-up before mm -hmm. everyone joins in with Iowa and Illinois joining the next Friday night. So uh, it's going to be pick, swinging into fall here right away this weekend. That is going to do it. This week's edition of Telegraph Herald, more than the score. I am your host, Steve Ortman. For Jim Leitner, we will see you next week.